tripping. But man, R.I.P. to the legend P.M.B. Brock. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, the murder trial deems the 17 year old not yet uh, competent to stand trial. Trial uh, that he's not basically mentally fit to stand uh, trial. So it's like the whole pleading the sanity thing is actually working out for him. And I think that it only works sometimes whenever you are below age because he's 17. Yeah, he's a minor. So plead in, if you plead insanity as like an adult, don't you just go to the uh, like a sane asylum? Probably. You got to uh, comment down. Fact check us. Check, fact check us about that and comment that. Because like below. if you go to the insane asylum and say you're like, all right, I'm going to fake it for a year that I'm crazy. And then I'm going to like be straight for like six months and they're going to release me. Like, do you get released or like, oh, now since you're straight, we can send it to you for real. Nah, nah, you do your whole time in the insane asylum. You do your time there. But let, let me paint the story for you, man. Let me paint the picture. You a 30-year-old popping rapper in the streets, P&B Rock. You know, you got your hit songs out there. You know, it's September 12, 2022. You're in California with your girl and your daughter. you going to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. You pull up in the Maybach. And then somebody dropped the low on you saying, man, we got a rapper that's in Ch uh, Roscoe's. And, you know, he had, that, he had the shiny jewelry on. We need to go take that. Take that, take that. So allegedly, what happened was that um, the the father of the young, the father of the child, basically dropped the child off to the Roscoe's. The kid got out of the car. He walked up the PNB Rock. He pulled out his weapon, and then that's when he then there shot PNB in the chest and two times in the back. After that, he snatched the chain off of uh, PNB Rock's neck. Got in the car with his father. His father pulled off. Allegedly, they burnt the car. Uh, but then later on that day, they got arrested. So, I mean, it really didn't last long. And it looks like, just like my Cole said, um, as soon as the child went to, the kid went to jail, they ran several tests on him, and they found out that basically that he's just unfit to stand trial. So, right now, they're not going to be charging him with murder. They're going to be charging the father and basically... Um, this other person named Tremont Jones for the murder. Tremont Jones is the person that dropped the low on PNB Rock, and they're charging the father. But the father and uh and Tremont basically saying that they innocent. They ain't guilty. They innocent. Which I mean, some people saying that they may beat because if you're getting charged for murder, you getting charged for a conspiracy, and you said all you did was all I did was drop my son off to Roscoe's to get some food. Nah, man, he he knew what was going on. I think the dad's going to get in trouble for this. I, I don't know what's going to happen with the son, how long he maybe has to stay at a mental into institution. Uh, it's just super sad. I mean, the uh, long he seemed like a good dude. True. And it was unfortunate that even the video made it on the internet of him basically like bleeding out on the floor. Man, he was just trying to eat with this girl and ended up getting shot. Like, that's, that's some trash, man. You're True. trying to get some chicken. And you end up getting popped like that's a that's the worst way to go out, man. I was just trying to get some food. Yep, and then uh, the lawyer on the defense, uh, the lawyer on the uh, defense side is basically saying that the only one of the reasons why the uh, the kid shot at PNB was because when the cops came to the scene, they seen that PNB Rock had a gun, a gun uh, basically tied up, basically like in his pants. Yeah. So they thought like when they saw the video camera, they seen like PNB reaching. They don't know if he was reaching for that. And they said like, oh, that's the reason why the kid shot. But at the same time, you shot him two times in the back and you snatched the chain. That was a little bit too much. And you took his ring and you took this jury. But I mean, you, it, it you didn't last long. And I mean, it's just sad out here how these rappers can't go to California. You hear them out here saying like, oh, you got to check in. You got to do that. And I mean, oh, at man. first I wasn't with the check in stuff, but do you think up, it's real? Straight up screw California. I hate California. Uh, there's really no reason to go out there. I mean, everything's big enough now. There's no reason to go to California. And it's like, we're here in Texas, and everyone's leaving California to come to Texas. And it's like, we don't want your California people. We don't like the way y'all think. So y'all might as well just stay out there. True. I mean, and it's crazy, because the only thing that could unite Californians, it was Drake dissing their five foot five <laughs> mans with a size seven shoe. So it's just like, man, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all kill each other every day. But then you get a Canadian to diss you, and you're like, we're togetherness. Y'all some sure. phony jabronis. No one likes California. The greatest California rapper was Tupac, who's not even from California. He's actually from New York, and the Outlaws are from New Jersey. So really, at the end of the day, the best East Coast rapper is Tupac.
<laughs> the best West Coast, I guess. And at the end know, of the day, he really was the East Coast rapper. Sure, but you know what also makes it sad is like the P and B Rock. He died, and the person that's seventeen is, is a juvenile kid. He won't be charged as, as an adult. And the same thing with the Pac Smoke kid, like the kid that's doing an interview with No Jumper, Box Star. Uh, yeah, Box Star. He uh, he's an underage kid, so they didn't they didn't charge him for reading. He got Juvie Life, which is just what tier eighteen, tier twenty one, twenty one. Yeah. Oh. So I mean, is it basically that's the longest? He did he, what, like three, four years? Yeah, and that's the, that's the longest he can uh, stay in jail too. So he's twenty one years old. So, I mean, that's what it's looking like out here. Like if you if you if you are under the age, you can basically get away with anything. So if you uh, got to get work done in the streets, just hire <laughs> hire a twelve year old. I, no, co- you sound <laughs> you sound like Mr. Beast's friend <laughs> trying to get him to run your Discord. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, never yeah, that. Yeah, no, but it's like you you hire a 16, 17-year-old to put in that work, and it's like even if they get caught, it's like they ain't messing up their whole life. They're going to be down for like three years. Pretty much. That's all you got to do. You see, I think allegedly that's what Boosie did. Uh, that's what they say Boosie didn't snitch, but then they saying like he did snitch and the hitter, his hitter was a juvenile kid, so that's why they really didn't talk much of it. That's why that's not a lot of information out there because, you know, when you're a juvenile kid, a lot of the information, your criminal case records are suppressed and sealed. It's private, yeah, because you can do uh, requests to documents. Like that's how uh, what's his name? Um, mm-hmm. Who's the white guy that does talks about snitches? Ten ninety eight, ten ninety Jake. Yeah, ten. Uh, yeah, ten ninety eight Jake. That's how he gets all of his info just by doing requests. Yeah, he does, and he always can never get those. But he, but he can never get the. He can never get any uh, juvie ca- uh, paperwork because it's all uh, uh, sealed. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> basically. Basically, and I mean, it's just, this is just a sad situation. R.I.P. P.M.B. Man, it's just crazy because uh-huh. uh, he did that song with Mimo Six Hundred. Yeah, it was like Rose Gold or something, and then like he passed away like the next month. That's what later. I can say. It was just like, and then dang, the man. crazy part is like you know normally like if you if you pop a celebrity and then you get out you will think like oh I gotta I gotta duck my head I gotta look left and right left and right and like the fact that this happened in California. He gonna get out. Yeah, he not from Cali, right? Yeah, P and P Rock's from um, Philly. That's the same thing that happened to Pop Smoke, because they like interviewing Pop Smoke's uh, mom, and like you know the guy that killed your son is doing like all kinds of interviews and making mm-hmm. interviews off of basically like making money off of killing your son, even though he did time. And she's like, his life's already over. He don't even know it. He's basically like a walking dead man, and it's like that's true. If he was in New York, I could see they could get back like any day. But if this dude is just doing. California media and California podcasts like who's really in California that's looking to ride for pop smoke I don't know if he has any people out there still true I mean so it's like this guy doesn't really have that threat of him being attacked unless you know maybe his mom wants to use some of that that money to put a hit on him in California <laughs> but that you know that's like maybe, maybe that's sh- shoot maybe that's what she's talking about well, yeah. maybe she's on that type of timing ooh pop smoke mama got I can see that I can see that but um, y'all comment below how y'all feel about the situation. Do you feel like it's not fair that he should be charged as an adult? Because I mean, you was competent enough to pull the trigger, so how you not competent enough to stand trial? To do the time, exactly. Yeah, it's it's crazy. So I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they uh, he doesn't just weasel his way out of this. No, but the California jail systems ain't no hope. Free Tory Lanez though. Yeah, shout out Tory for recording music in jail and actually sounding good. Facts.